Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Monday, June 6th. It is the 157th day of the year. There are 208 days left. Happy National Yo-Yo Day! Each year on June 6th, we recognize this fun holiday, National Yo-Yo Day. The day celebrates the iconic stringed toy that generations have enjoyed. June 6th is the perfect day to get out your yo-yo and try your hand at these amazing tricks. The sleeper, walk the dog, shooting the moon, around the world, and hop the fence. The yo-yo is an object consisting of an axle connected to two discs and a length of string looped around the axle. It is played by holding the free end of the string, allowing gravity or the force of a throw to spin the yo-yo and unwind the string, then allowing the yo-yo to wind itself back again. This activity is called yo-yoing. It is believed that the yo-yo was first invented in ancient Greece. A Greek vase painting from 500 BC displays a boy playing with a yo-yo. The yo-yo came to the United States through a young boy by the name of Pedro Flores. When he immigrated to the United States from the Philippines as a young boy, he recalled playing with a toy called a bandolore. The toy inspired Flores to create a business and he called it the Flores Yo-Yo. Flores later sold his company to Donald F. Duncan. Test your yo-yoing skills by trying as many yo-yo tricks as possible. Do you know how to do a pinwheel or walk the dog? Do some research, see if you can figure out how. Today is also National Applesauce Cake Day, National Drive-In Movie Day, National Eyewear Day, and National Higher Education Day. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shoutouts today start us off with Mr. V and everyone in the English class at Shasta High School in Redding, California. Next up is Ms. Newmeyer and everyone in her second grade class, Crew 255, at Frank Elementary School in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Third up today is Ms. Beth and everyone in the MCIU class at Cheltenham High School in Cheltenham, Pennsylvania. Fourth up today is Mrs. Jones and everyone in the RISE program at Lewis L. Redding Middle School in Middleton, Delaware. And our fifth shout out today goes out to Ms. Mack and everyone in the 6th through 8th grade program at Mercer Middle School in Aldi, Virginia. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you so much for your support and I hope you loved your shout outs. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below in the description. And here it is, our updated, super spectacular shout out map. Anybody want to make a yo-yo? Gather the following supplies. Two bottle caps, about the size of like a Snapple or a Gatorade bottle. A one and a half inch screw. String, 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 like embroidery floss. A screwdriver some pictures from a magazine, or you can draw some yourself, and then you'll also need glue and scissors. Let's get started. So if you need any help during this one, don't be afraid to ask. But the first thing you're gonna do is find the center of the cap, and you're going to screw the screw through the center of the cap using your screwdriver. Be careful not to accidentally poke yourself with the screw. Then you're going to repeat with the other bottle cap. Once you've created the hole in both lids, you're going to screw it into one and then add the other bottle cap, making sure the flat tops are facing each other and leaving just about a quarter of an inch in the middle. Just a tiny space, enough for a couple rolls of the string. So 
So this is the part where we decorate the sides of the yo-yo. You can use your own drawings, you can use pictures from a magazine, whatever you'd like to do, but you're going to trace around the edge of the yo-yo around the picture that you would like to use on the end. I used some Minecraft magazines that I had around the house because I thought that would make a fun yo-yo. You do that for both sides. And then you're gonna cut both of those out and then glue them on the edge. I used hot glue just because it sets up faster. Be careful, it's hot. Or you can use regular glue. Now you're going to cut a length of string, probably about 36 inches, about three feet. You're gonna tie one end really tightly around the screw in between the two bottle cap lids. Wind the extra string around the screw in the middle. And then at the other end, you're going to tie a loop. Make it a little bit bigger than your finger so you can uh, slide your finger in and out of the loop. And there you go, my friends. You've made a yo-yo. Can you believe it? We made a yo-yo. I mean, guys, come on. We made a yo-yo. Look at how great this is. Okay, let's see. Am I gonna be able to do this? I'm gonna try. Oh, I almost caught it. So, the cool thing is, you can use bigger lids and make a bigger yo-yo. You could even use smaller lids and make a smaller yo-yo. I mean, again, we just get more amazing by the day with our customizable crafts, don't we? So, look up some yo-yo tricks. See if you can figure one out. I know there's one where you can like make a triangle somehow and then the yo-yo swings in the middle of the, I don't know. I used to know a bunch of yo-yo tricks when I was a kid. Have some fun today with your yo-yo. Keep smiling, have a marvelous Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.